Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Fremantle right now and it's been a while since I've done my last filming because semester has started so that's why I can't really do too many but today I just have to come out with this special occasion to do the 906 full journey today. Fremantle line closure full day so that's why the whole line is closed so that's why 906 was running full journey from Fremantle station to Perth City bus port. So let's do it. But unfortunately this this bus, I mean I don't know why this system set it up. Every single bus for 906, it doesn't say Perth City bus port, it said Perth City Centre. But it does run to Perth bus port. So that's why we're stopping at all stations and going to Perth bus port. It will take 50 minutes <laughs> compared with the train which is less than 30 minutes. On board a B12 here I specifically waited for a B12. I've waited for like four to five buses for the Justice B12. So, because last time when I did 906 with Mark, I, we did from Claremont to Fremantle because on that day, closure up to Claremont. So that's why on that day we did a Bendy B12. And of course, it just makes sense to do another B12 for today. So, but this time it's full journey to Perth bus port. Let's do it. On board is 3014 here for this bus here the B12 engines here it is now for 906 the frequency is actually even better than freaking trains there's another 906 that's just a normal bendy one over there tons of bendy buses on today for 906 of course there are still some non bendy buses but yeah so stupid frequency today for 905 906 not 905 no 906 today five minutes per bus <laughs> Yes, five minutes per bus. It's even better than freaking trains because five minutes per bus to Fremantle. If it is just like for trains, it is like seven to eight minutes per train, but it only goes to Claremont. And while it's 15 minutes per train if you want to go to Fremantle. But today, it's five minutes per bus and every single 906 will go to Fremantle. So that's why it's like even better than the train services. But it's like double the traveling time, so yeah, you know. I got tons of messages, like what the hell? Who the hell is sending me shit? Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna do some of the train announcements. So today, no Fremantle line services. Airport line terminates at Perth. Midland line, of course, terminates at Perth. So I've watched a little bit of Mark's video. He did the full journey time lapse from Perth City to Fremantle. So that's why I decided to do this way. And the trains for today, six and seven is no use. Trains just run into platform eight and platform nine directly without any turn back and without connecting with Fremantle line. So platform eight is for Midland and platform nine is for High Wycombe, which is very special that they actually mixed up the platforms, that they uh, separate the platforms. It's very unusual to actually see that anymore. So. There is the Bendy B12, you can see the head of the, of the bus here. And uh, because of uh, the Fremantle Line shutdown, some B series actually ran, as is running on Midland Line today, which is going to be very confusing for the normal people. Now, but taking this one, the good thing is you don't need to stop at any of the stops, so that's why we're just going to be running through every single normal bus stop. Well, technically, you can take 910 to just go to Perth. But uh, 910 should be taking longer than this. Plus, you need to stop so many stops. So, now technically, you can just take your Canning Bridge and change to trains. But, so, now this first section to Claremont is around 25 minutes. And up to City is another 25 minutes, so that's why. The uh, section between Claremont to Perth is very unique. Honestly, in my opinion, especially the part that they live in Subiaco is really funny. I've take, I took 906 in here, so that's why I basically took the full journey already, but I'm just taking it back. I took in here is not a bendy, it's like a 3114, I think. I don't remember the number. But uh, there are some non bendy buses that definitely choose to take a bendy because at least there's more space back here and not too many people. Next station, North Fremantle. 
a crossing bridge here. Next stop is North, Frem uh, North Fremantle Station. So I'm not going to be doing any of the trains today. Next week there will be more shutdown. So that's why next week I will be doing trains but not buses. Next week is not Fremantle. Next week is only Fremantle actually. <laughs> yes, reverse next week. Yes, next week is only Fremantle. Only Fremantle line next week. So Midland and Airport line, they will run but they don't run to Perth because the closure is Perth to East Perth. So that's why the 901 will run between East Perth to Perth and then all trains from Midland and Airport Line will be terminating at East Perth which is going to be again very funny so that's why that's the focus of next week but next week at the same time Armadale and Thorny Line full line closure next week so that's why 907 and 908 will run now I really want to film 907 but uh, if I do the trains that will be too many too much to do with 907 plus 907 I probably can easily do very soon so that's why I'm going to leave behind 907 next week and I'm going to touch it for now. That route is train replacement down to Armadale from Perth. It takes over one hour, so that's why. And 908 just runs from Thornley to Cannington for a quick connection with the trains, which I've done 908 before, so that's why you can check that one out last year. So, I actually don't, but uh, news saying that Fremantle Line trains next week will run into platform 8 and 9 and just turns back to Fremantle. But before I've heard one time, that uh, when I was not in Hong Kong back then, three mile line trains ran into Perth underground because the whole station is literally not used. So that's why why not just have the three mile line trains go down to Perth underground? Which I'm not so sure whether they're gonna do it next time again like that. If they really do it like that, that would be crazy. And I can finally spot some trains in Perth underground with the three mile line trains. But uh, it's all right. My main focus is probably the terminus at East Perth. That will be the funny part. So later on for sure I have a chance to film 907 so that's why no problemo. So I've technically almost filmed all of the replacement buses except 907 actually right now. I've done 901 and 902 full journey. I've done a one station section on the 904 and I'm doing the 906 full journey right now. 907 not yet touched. 908 is full journey done. And 909 I've done the Auburn Grove to Canning Bridge section. I'm not going to be able to do the full line because the full journey for 909 is two hours. Two hours is not like the biggest problem, I could just split it up into two parts or something. But it's like not all, like very rarely they're going to shut down the whole Mandra line. So that's why. And I've done a special 949 full journey for the Auburn Grove Express last time. So still not even at no free metal. <laughs> Well, the biggest difference between the traveling time of trains and buses, of course, you guys know what it is. My good old friend. Red lights, of course. I'm probably going to do some cuts later on. The engine sounds. Oh, this is awesome. This just feels nice, man. We got 906 coming in on the outside, which is 3076, a normal bendy bus. Normal bendy bus. There are someone actually running on the platform over there for no free metal. There's one dude literally walking on the platform. I think he's behind the bush right now. There are actually people on the platform waiting for trains. Well, they actually don't know that there are no trains. <laughs> They're gonna wait non-stop over there to wait for trains while there are like literally no trains, so that's why. Because do they don't, actually maybe they don't know that there are no trains. They're pressing on the thing to buy tickets, but there are like literally no trains today, so. Well, good luck to those guys waiting for their non-existent train. Next station, Victoria Street. Definitely better to film on this direction this time. You look at this view. Oh my gosh. Like when you're traveling on a train, the views is already awesome. But with buses, it's even cooler, I think. So if we go up a little bit to actually look all the way through. Look at that. Wow. 
I usually when I take trains down, it's really pretty. But up here from the farther distance, oh my goodness. Wow. Right next is uh, Victoria Street. Now basically at the next stop that probably have people bored will be Claremont. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then after Claremont will be Subiaco, and then after Subiaco will be the city, so that's why. That's basically what we're gonna stop at mostly. Now, Claremont is a must stop because there are always people there. Subiaco, I mean, by one or two, it's a bigger one as well. But uh, yeah, not any of these random stops. Plus, we're limited stops, so that's why. So, we're stopping at all of the train stations. So semester has started, I have already started my lectures, so later on when I go back after this journey, I'm just going to rush back and start my lectures while this thing uploads. So it's not because it's a Sunday that's like no lectures, you can choose to watch the uh, pre-recorded lectures. So that's why I always prefer to watch, watch it on Saturday and Sunday because it's basically a free school day, so that's why it's not a school day, then I focus school days going to campus and have face-to-face -face workshops and tutorials. Oh man, it's B12, man. <laughs> now, later on, I should just, if no one actually pressed the bell, I might just press the bell for Perth Passport because just to show you how awesome this bell is. I really like the bell. Like that. There's Victoria Street. Anyone on the platform waiting for trains? <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, no one. Okay, good. Hey. Not like North Fremantle, what the hell? Next station, Mossman Park. Now the Mossman Park train placement bus stop is a little bit eh because I don't think it's actually placed at the correct spot. Basically you can just place it back there but it places somewhere at the front. So there's Mossman Park station, anyone on it? Okay, no. You see here's the station, it's already past the station and where's the train replacement bus stop? Not even there yet, it's over here, you see? Like this is not even close to 3052 right there for 906. Okay, actually there are people boarding. Wow. 13 minutes in. 13 minutes and 30 seconds in. Next station. Cut the slow. I was like, I, I forgot the station. This driver is driving all right, but he's not driving that fast. Now we'll, we'll cross the train tracks to the front because the uh, the other parts of the of the path is crossed to the other side of the train tracks. Oh, here's the bell. We turn left into Jarrett Street here. Oh, just missed the red light, unfortunate. We got a 2851 right there. That one should be a 999. Is that 999? No, 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 no. Is that 999? No, it's a 102. Okay. Not even closed, I guess. All right. 
quick red light, perfect. Now let's turn left here. Cross the train track. I'm oh, actually, it's not going to be dreadful red light. This it's not going to be a dreadful path this time because today no trains. So that's why the, the gate won't shut down for the train tracks here. So that's why. Because when actually the, the gate just closed down due to trains running through, it takes like five minutes to wait for this part right here when you cross the tracks. But today no trains. So that's why. <laughs> The, the gate won't shut down anymore anytime soon today, so that's like Oh this this motor satisfying <laughs> Alright caught us low just past where the train tracks is basically where caught the station is so the train train and bus stop is back here Wow, that's actually quite a lot of people boarding. Quite a lot of people at the front. When I was at Perth Passport earlier on, the, uh, the staff is like very, <laughs> very, very useful at the same time, pretty funny. Freeman Line train replacement at stand 9 place. <laughs> so, yeah, stand 9 today for the uh, for the train replacement for Zone A at Perth Passport. Next station, Grand Street. Okay, we got a 906 coming in, not a Bendy. Future bus. What the hell? <laughs> I think it's 1692, I didn't see it clearly. But it's a spendy. I mean it's a future bus. <laughs> wow. So I think all contractors are running again. I definitely know that some of the path buses are running. This is a swan. This I think is a path bus right here. 3014 right here, path bus. And we have the 31 series for the Bendis, those are by Swan, so that's why. I yet, yet to see a Transdev vehicle, but maybe we'll see some. A 906, 2528 by Swan. Another 906, 3115. <laughs> wow. I like the time schedule is a little bit off because it should be 5 minutes per bus but maybe like one bus is delayed for 5 minutes and basically two bus at the same time. So here at Grand Street. The bus stop is back here somewhere. Yeah, this is at the front. No one's there. Skip! No buses were run here. It's just a 906. Which goes. Nope. Next station, Swanbourne. Now Swanbourne is the uh, worst train replacement bus stop because it's not even at the station. It's like three blocks, three street blocks up the hill around from Swanbourne station. So that's a very bad design. Turn right here. Same path so far as last time, but I just did the other way this time. Alright, right turn here. Boom. That was a fast red light, wow. Oh, here it is. The B12 turnings. Actually, 102 as it goes here. She didn't know that. we we'll right turn here into the Swanbourne train replacement bus stop. Oh man! Uh, 
I don't think I even actually need to sit at the back for this. You probably can hear how strong the motor is already. Okay, another 906. Looks like a B12 coming in on the outside. Yes, this should be a B12. All right, yes, it is. Yes, it is. No. Yes, B12. 3013, I think. Yep, 3013. So we're on 3014, and there goes 3013. It's pretty cool. Here's the, you can see here is the freaking replacement bus stop. It's not even close to the train station. Next station, Claremont. Now, so now technically Showgrounds does have a train replacement bus stop. <laughs> but uh, it's not used normally, so that's not. Almost a like claim on here. Are we gonna do oh no, here come gyratory turn. This is gonna be awesome. Here we go, gyratory. Oh my gosh. Oh right, here we are at Claremont. Oh, just missed the light though. Oh, we're actually gonna ignore the light, okay. Turn in here to Claremont bus, Claremont station, bus station. Wow, the sound is just awesome. So from here, if you go to the city, you can just take 995, honestly, it doesn't matter. Or even 28, 27 here I think also works. 28, 68 here for the 27 here. So strong motor. Go to East Perth, it's 27. And made it to Claymore Station. Alright, that's the first part here. 22, almost 23 minutes. That's a lot of people. Okay. Here we go. Resume after a bunch of people bought it. No worry, guys. If you missed it, the bus is not a big deal. Five minutes per bus. So. I'm not so sure what's the next one. I think it's not a bendy though. Next one. Okay, railway replacement goes straight because we'll be following the train tracks here. No buses will go straight except 906. So here we go, straight. All the buses will be turning the gyratory turn out right. A faster way will be for real actually just taking 995 here. After 995 you just change whatever to go back up to Perth. You can just take one station trains or even like Ricky Boot Cat. Next station, Lord Street. So I have, okay, here's 906, another bendy one. I didn't see the number this time, it's way too fast. So, I've seen another 906 coming in. I will talk about what I saw on C Learn's video recently. Here's Showground Station. And here is, oh, not a 906, it's 000. 2867. I recently saw a C Learn video filming the Yara Trams, Melbourne but uh, it's a tram replacement bus <laughs> and that is a for real tram replacement bus because the bus is running on a freaking tram track <laughs> which is so hilarious in my opinion the, re the for real the freaking bus is running on the tram tracks it's literally running on the tram tracks not even running next to the tram tracks like we do of course we're train replacement and the train tracks of course we can't but for the Melbourne tram tracks, there's a normal road with a uh, with an indent for the trams wheels to get in there. So that's why buses just run on it. <laughs> so funny. 
Here's Lord Street. Shitting me. I don't know what's going on with these three dudes. Alright, finally. Meat station, Karakata. Alright, 906 coming in, on the outside. Not gonna turn and start and get packed in here, so that's fine. We're just gonna say out the number of the bus. Is it a bendy? It is not a bendy. 2581. There's the Karaka bus stop. Next station, Shinton Park. So for the 906 drivers, they're probably going to be driving 906 for the whole day, so... so. Another 906 coming in. It's also not a bendy, I think. Yep, not a bendy 906. 3210. Literally right next to the train tracks. It's just over there, train tracks. What is that guy doing over there? What is that bus? Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot what nine, nine, nine actually goes at the back of Shedden Park Station. Why don't we just go here, so... Anyone for Shipping Park Station? Yes, there is. I saw a platform up there, platform not in use. Nine oh six thirty fifty seven. Next station, Daglish. Looks like someone's getting off at Daglish station.
another a 27 right there Later on, Subiaco will be a little bit annoying because we need to loop in to Subiaco, so that's why. Alright, here we are at Dago Station. Station Subiaco. No, but then we don't go underground for this, so that's why. Now, Bendy passed by. <laughs> Here we go, Subiaco. Do we just stop here? Nope, it's not the stop, we'll go straight. red lights in here actually So the train station is right there, but for the 906 towards the city direction, it is stopping in out here. The stop for Subiaco station for the uh, Fremantle direction is actually inside, 
somewhere that way. Station West Leadable. This is really not efficient. <laughs> no wonder trains are necessary sometimes. sunny over here so Andy, B12, pass by. We are at West Liddell. Probably no one here. Skip. Next station, City West. Well, the speed is pretty decent right now, it's not very long. Okay. Off the street west here, we're not gonna turn, we just go straight straight down to City West Station. After that, straight to Perth. So, so it's going to Perth City Centre, but uh, it's just Perth bus port, so. Which I don't know why they actually need to not say Perth bus port and just say Perth City Centre. A 906 coming in, another B12. Oh, not a B12, that's a freaking future bus coming in. 1697 for 906.
Here we are at City West Station. It's just where the green cat stops. They just use the cat cat stop. But unfortunately, this time there are no green cats, so you have to pay for this one. Oh no, it's free transit zone. There's no need to. Okay, cool. Next station, Perth. Oh, I saw a Junda little blind train coming in. This train, this bus will terminate at Perth Bus Park. Because we need to cross back over the train tracks, so we need to loop into the uh, North Bridge area a little bit and then turn back up to the top and we go across the bridge. Just a little bit at like Aberdeen Street or Fitzgerald Street. We can't turn left here, so I was like, no. There's the train over there to Mandra. And made it to Perth. Here's the turn left. Boy. Left again. And red light. Unfortunately. Future bus on 960 there. And going into Perth Passport. Got 906 coming in. And 906? I didn't see the number. Something 74, not Bendy. Alright, let's see where we're going. I believe it'll be stand four. Stand one, nice, perfect. Don't need to loop around, we can get off right away. Is another 906? 
2012 into Perth Passport. I don't know whether this is rare or not with a B12 inside Perth Passport, but here we are. And my 34 just left. Wow, that was so stupid. Alright, the 960 it is. Here we are at stand one, so it's getting off time. No, 906 just turned right away. Alright. The passport. I should not be failing this time, so that's why. Hopefully I didn't fail the touch again. Alright. And here we are, Bendy 3014 here at Perth Passport. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so that you get notifications. Oh, this was actually by Swan, that's troll. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these videos up top and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!